What is up YouTube? It's AirGP back with a brand new review video. And as you can tell from the title, we are going to be taking a look at those Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s here in just a few minutes. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely hit that notification bell so you know every single time that I do upload a video. Check out any of my other videos if you haven't already or if this is the first video you have watched. I do appreciate you very, very much. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet either, you definitely need to do so. My Instagram username is the exact same as my YouTube channel name. I post lots of sneaker content, pickups, sneaker pictures, all that good stuff. So definitely give me a follow on Instagram. I also write basketball performance reviews for Sneakers Detroit. Definitely give them a follow on Instagram as well. I will leave all this information in the description box below so you guys can give follows to all these accounts as well as obviously check me out on YouTube or Instagram. But thanks guys for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and check out these Jordan 1s. So these did release this past Saturday. I was not able, there was no stores around me actually getting them. I was lucky enough to get them on the sneakers app and they did just get here in the mail probably about 30 minutes ago. I was so excited that they were coming today. Um, I wanted to wear them to the gym, take them straight to feet. Um, I was actually, it kind of worked out better because I hate bringing you guys reviews after I've worn the sneakers, and a lot of times when I get a new pair in, I'm so excited I want to put them straight to feet, and basically um, we'll wear them even before I do the review. So this is straight out of the box. I've actually only looked at them for about a total of one minute, so we're basically going to be diving in or looking at them together. But you do have um, just standard Jordan 1 box. Um, as you can tell, the black with the red, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the color code sizing and all that good stuff. They are size 11 and a half. Retail was $160. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Black Starfish Pale Vanilla. So as you can see there on the box, I hope it is picking it up well enough. We'll go ahead and pop the lid on the box. Uh, there's your stamp inside. Standard Jordan 1 paper, uh, sheet paper inside. And then here is a look at the shoes straight in the box. But we'll go ahead and get them out real quick. Throw the box to the side and take a look at them a little bit closer. So here is the right shoe. Um, first off, we'll talk about the materials just a little bit. It is a patent leather that's kind of like a tumbled patent leather or crinkly patent leather, I guess I'm going to call it. Um, when I first saw images of these uh, back in the summer when they first started releasing what the shoe was going to look like, I wasn't super excited about it. Um, I would rather it probably be just a regular, uh, very tumbled leather, very nice you know, leather material. But at the same time, it's something different. I do like different stuff on sneakers, and I just think that it's a different look, and it's pretty cool overall you know, actually in hand, they are a little bit better than maybe I imagined um, initially when I saw pictures. I'm not going to lie, I didn't really want them at first when I saw initial images, and then they kind of grew on me over time. I've done that with sneakers over the years. I'll see initial image, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about those, and then more images will start popping up. People will be getting them early and all that good stuff. I'm like, man, I do really like those or uh, hope to get them once they do release. But obviously, you can see here on the side, you've got that black uh, patent crinkled leather. Uh, moving around to your toe box area, you do have obviously the orange and then the black around the toe a cap area there as well. Obviously, you've got an orange uh, swoosh on there, black Air Jordan Wings logo, orange crinkled leather, patent crinkled leather around the back, and then orange swoosh on the inside as well. Regular Jordan uh, black nylon tongue with your Nike Air branding in orange on the top of the tongue there. On the insole, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Um, you do have a black insole with Nike Air um, on the actual insole in there, as you can see. So they're calling this outsole um, a pale vanilla is what they're actually calling this outsole here. I will say this, um, don't think that it's sale. It's quite a bit, um, I'm gonna say more dull, I guess, or more of like a orange type tint to it, um, so to speak. So it's not a sale outsole. Um, on images, I kind of thought, you know, I, I mean, I'm going to say this, I didn't think that it was necessarily a sale outsole, but when initials first surfaced, they've been doing a lot of those sale outsoles this, year's with, this year with the Jordan 1s, and I kind of thought that that's what they were going to do, but as I said, they are calling it pale vanilla, and it is definitely not sale. Um, standard with these are black laces. As you can tell, I haven't even laced them up yet or anything. Here is the bag. Mine does have a Jumpman on it. I actually saw this on Instagram yesterday that some people were saying their bags didn't have a Jumpman. Some were saying they did. I don't know the whole story or what's going on with that, but mine does obviously have the Jumpman on the bag, as you can see here. And obviously it does come with that extra set of orange laces. That'll probably be 
I say that I'm gonna lace them up with orange. I'll probably lace one up with the black and just see how it looks and then decide which way that I wanna lace them up. Let me know in the comment section below from the pictures you've seen so far, do you like the orange laces on these better or do you like the standard black laces that come in them already? Um, this is the left shoe. Obviously, as you can tell, there's really no differences. You can see the black and the orange, obviously still the orange swoosh, black uh, Air Jordan Wings logo. Obviously, the tongue is the same. There's no difference you know, between each shoe. But as I said, the one, the one thing I think, the pale vanilla outsole, it's not bad looking or anything, but that would probably be my weakest part to the shoe or the part of the shoe that I probably liked actually least is probably this outsole here. I mean, it doesn't look bad or anything, but I almost feel like a sail or even a white outsole uh, may have actually looked better. But at the same time, it's something different and it's something different than we have been getting. I don't know that I've ever seen this outsole color on a Jordan 1. Let me know in the comment section below if there is a Jordan 1 that has an outsole this color, but I, I don't think uh, nothing that I can, or comes to memory has this kind of outsole on it. But um, as I said, it's just a different look something that is cool. I like, as I said, when they do different features on sneakers and stuff like that. But overall, very, very glad to add these to the collection. Um, let me know what the next pickup you're going after. Are you going after those Fearless Ones this weekend? And let me know your overall thoughts on the Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's support. I just hit 200 subs the other day. Um, I'm not a very frequent uploader as I used to be. Pretty much just new pickups and things like that. Um, if I want to hop on here and get time real quick and bring you guys a video. But at the same time, I do appreciate everyone's support. As I said, uh, the road to 200 subs has been pretty sweet. Um, met lots of people, whether it be on Instagram or YouTube combined. And I do, as I said, appreciate everyone's support. But thanks again for tuning in today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as I always say, we'll be back very, very soon with some more kicks. Peace.